Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to take a look at the Windows Optimizer which is made by Hullzerk on GitHub. And uh, as you can see right here, this uh, optimizer actually claims faster Windows performance and more secure. And uh, this tool or this optimizer is also apparently um, portable utility that helps you restore your privacy and also increases your security. And this optimizer is recommended after a fresh clean installation of Windows to achieve maximum privacy and security. Depending on your version of Windows optimizer will also allow you to perform some specific tweaks. So how to get this optimizer? It's quite simple. So go to the releases tab right here on the GitHub. And uh, this is the latest release currently, which was uh, published 14 days ago. So the version is 12.0. So to get the file, you will simply click here on the optimizer 12.0 exe file, and then the download will probably start. And once you got the file, you will double left click in your downloads folder and uh, then you will click here more information and click run anyway then under administration prompt click yes and here we are at the optimizer here select your preferred uh, language and uh, the optimizer should load so here we are at the optimizer and here we have a lot of the tabs so first of all i will start with the universal tab so here you have some of the performance tweaks which are super handy to enable. So here we have the enable performance tweak. So this apparently is collection of internal window settings to optimize performance and is completely safe to apply. And it also apparently reduces waiting time before killing unresponsive processes. So I will enable the uh, performance tweaks and then we have disable network throttling. So apparently Windows implements a network throttling mechanism that uh, will restrict network traffic when running multimedia apps. So you can also disable or enable, enable the feature that will disable network throttling. And I will also disable Windows Defender, but this feature uh, unfortunately doesn't work right now because Windows Defender cannot be disabled on Windows uh, 11. And of course, if you have Windows 10 version 1903 and higher. And here we also have disable system restore points. So I will enable this feature, disable error reporting, disable this uh, or enable this. And also you can disable telemetry task. So telemetry services periodically sends usage and performance data to Microsoft for future improvements. So you can disable sending the, this data to Microsoft. Of course, you can disable telemetry for Office and Visual Studio as well. So if you are using that, I highly recommend that you disable both of those. So you have here on the right side, you have disable print service. You can disable this, disable fax service. If you don't use the print or fax, you can uh, easily disable all these features. So disable media player sharing. You can disable that, disable sticky keys disable that, disable home group, disable, disable superfetch. So superfetch preloads commonly used apps to RAM, causing high disk usage, especially on HDDs. You can disable that and disable compatibility assistance, which you can also disable. Then we have disable Mozilla Firefox telemetry. So if you are using Mozilla and Google Chrome, you can disable both of these uh, features right here. So this is pretty much it for the universal tab. Right now, let's move on to the windows. So these features are only available to Windows 11. So restore classic Windows Explorer, you can enable and it will change a look of your file explorer. Then we have disable start menu ads, but I probably didn't saw any of the ads on the start menu of Windows 11. Most of them were on Windows uh, 10, so I will disable the start menu ads just for precautions. And then we can also, which I found quite interesting, uninstall OneDrive. So you can uninstall OneDrive. Um, and then you have a lot of the options right here. For example, interesting one is disable TPM 2.0 check, uh, which you can disable if you have, for example, unsupported device. 
and you can also disable future updates which are probably major releases of Windows such as from 10 to Windows 11 for example um, and then I recommend also that if you are for example not using Xbox services on your Windows machine you can also disable Xbox Live and also if you are not using the drawing pad on your Windows machine you can also disable that as well and disable my people which I think was also introduced in Windows 10 you can disable that enable logging pads I will enable that and disable spell checking so touch keyboard only features which are like auto correction text suggestion and spell check you can disable that as well then under the this at the bottom settings you have here an option to align taskbar to the left if you want to but I don't want to so here we have also disable snap assist disable widgets and disable chat so I can disable that and disable snap assist are this uh, options right here if you want to disable then but first thing which you are going to do is uh, click on disable snap assist and then you want to restart your file explorer so if you go to the task manager for example then you will scroll down and here you will see windows explorer and then you will click restart and the uh, snap assist shouldn't work so as you can see it doesn't right now but i think this feature is quite useful so i wouldn't see the point why would you disable it so here you also have an option disable automatic updates if you want to disable them exclude drivers from update disable telemetry services enhance privacy disable cloud clipboard disable cortana disable sensor services remove cast to device disable game bar and disable insider service then you can also make taskbar smaller but uh, also you need to once again uh, restart your file explorer um, then you have enable classic ribbon in explorer and enable classic right click menu so this is the this menu right here but before it looked like that so i will enable that and then we have here uh, the tab of uvp apps which are apps that usually that usually came installed from microsoft store uh, such as for example let's say we have spotify and so on so here it says that if you uninstall store you won't be able to install new apps and some apps cannot be uh, uninstalled so you can here uninstall a few of the apps you want to but uh, most of them uh, came also pre-installed with the default installation of windows so then we have here the startup so you can select these applications to start up at the boot of your computer but uh, if you don't want to just simply uncheck them then we have here the common tabs so these are just a list of the commonly used applications that usually people use and are handy here to just simply click on them and then this program will uh, download them and install on your computer and you don't need to go to the each of individual uh, website and download exe file from there then we have the cleaner so you can clean up your system drive so here we have select all, all and then we have temporary files BOSD mini dumps error reports you can delete all these files even the empty the recycle bin and also Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge you can also clean all of these cache cookies and so on then we have the pinger so for example if you want to test how much is your latency you can just copy let's say for example the cloudflare dns here and paste it right here and then you can easily ping it and uh, as you can see the right now is pinging uh, with the ttl 128 and uh, here we have the average which is 11.78 and minimum and maximum value which i think is pretty good so here we also have the host so you can easily for example block a few of the websites based on your uh, computer ip address so here are some of the pre-made ad blocks for example here we have ad block basic ad block social ad block ultimate and so on so you can uh, for example ban a website from your pc uh, then we have the registry so fix common registry issues i recommend to enable all and also restart file a uh, file explorer to oblige changes so you can also enable this as well and then you can click fix and it should fix common registry issues uh, successfully of course 
Then you have the hardware um, part of the optimizer. And here you will see uh, all of your hardware that you are currently using. And then we have the integrator, which I found quite interesting. So this is basically an option that will allow you to add uh, an options here in the right context menu on the desktop. So uh, if you go to here to add and modify, we can select here which uh, is the item type. So for example, program folder, link file or command. So I will write here link the program. So program to add is for example, is um, a Microsoft Edge. So I will open here file location, select it. And then I will go to the downloads, set, paste this uh, location of the Microsoft Edge and then click here Microsoft Edge, click open, and then icon to add, it will use programs icon, and then you can also select here item name in menu, so uh, Microsoft Edge, then click add and modify, and if I right click, you can see here that we have the Microsoft Edge, and if I click on it, it should open the Microsoft Edge. So I think this is pretty a pretty good addition to this uh, program and you can also remove for example if you don't want the Microsoft Edge right here anymore you can simply delete it right here with these options. And then we also have the um, options menu here. So here you can change the theme and change the language. And uh, with all that being said thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you haven't already, make sure that you smash the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you are new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and uh, join the Tech Enthusiast community. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.